coming up on today's episode of the SaaS School podcast. Product led growth being the only strategy uh, is a myth and mm. the biggest myth is that you don't need a sales marketing or any other team apart from product. Ladies and gentlemen, let's explore how growth, product and customer success work together across SaaS companies. Welcome to the SaaS School podcast. And here's your host Abhinav Arora. Abhinav the stage is yours howdy howdy good folks welcome to yet another episode of the sas school podcast today i have with me saurabh ahuja he's a senior product manager growth at apollo.io and he's previously led growth at uh, flipkart as well as vodafone for the longest time you know we've called uh, build and they will come as a myth right people would build products and they would expect users to come but you know there was this entire marketing uh, and sales fraternity and you know y combinator and all of these guys shitting on those people and be like guys you need to invest in distribution you can't just make a product and it'll grow itself but i think in 2021 it's finally a reality product led growth is finally here and uh, you know uh, you only need to hire marketing if you are uh, not confident in your product team i mean i read tweets like this all the time first of all abhinav happy to be here but uh. i have to stop you there the uh, product led growth being the only strategy uh, is a myth and mm. the biggest myth is that you don't need a sales marketing or any other team apart from product uh, i am part of the product team but uh, at the same time i need i need sales support marketing customer success and a whole wide range of teams to support our growth sure we have grown uh, crazy and a lot of it is because of the product mm. but all of it has been made possible by all all these teams as well so we come together and we uh um, you know for fuel this growth are you being diplomatic or what are you saying is the truth because i use twitter very actively and i see every day tweets about how product solves everything twitter pe to bahut kuch likha hota hai but uh, actual mein kya hota hai wo main aapko batata hu okay so the first thing you said that you don't need a sales team ha huh. and uh, the sales team was only required in 2010 sure their role has changed over uh, over the past 10 years hmm. because the buyers have changed and the job of sales is to support the buyers hmm. so pehle kya hota tha buyers were not as informed so you needed a sales team to you know tell them that you have a problem and there are solutions in the market which can help you you know cut costs or uh, increase your revenue hmm and then tell them okay this is how you use the product and then finally make the sale to so sales aajkal aisa kuch nahi karti is this not their job responsibility anymore they still need to make the sale because they Haan. need to build in, bring, bring in the dollars but Haan. now the buyers are more advanced like you read google and twitter the buyers are also reading that too Haan. so they know a lot more on uh, on what the problems that they have and because everyone is trying to you know make uh, most out of the their own growth engine hmm. so <clears throat> they are reading a lot up about in what's available in the market how can they solve their cost hmm. and they already have a consideration list on the problem that they want to solve on what are the saas softwares available in the market hmm. and if the options are uh, product led growth advanced enough they'll uh, they'll give you a trial so they hmm. already are signed up on a trial version before the sales team actually talks to them got it so uh, if i'm getting you right what are you saying is uh, if i have to buy or you know if we're a team together and we need to buy a software we will instead of uh, you know going to a sales team of a software we will do our google searches and we won't just land on websites we'll read a few blogs we will see what twitter has to say it will ask around on twitter we will ask around on facebook linkedin ke I am looking for a software for payroll management. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think is nice? Then I'll scan up their uh, uh, content blogs and uh, YouTube, G2 Crowd, Captera, yeah. and uh, I'll also, I mean, if they have a free trial, I'll also sign up for that. So this entire experience where sales doesn't come in, that is uh, what you're talking about is product-led growth. Uh, uh, yeah. Not necessarily. So the first part of the first part of the funnel is where the customer re- is researching is pretty much uh, owned by marketing hmm. because they need to put out put their content out there hmm. on how their product is better than the others in the market hmm. what are the problems actually they are solving in the hmm. market there is only a specific kind of businesses who can do that in an automated way okay now the user is at a trial stage okay and now where you you, you are uh, a user of the product hmm. you are not necessarily the customer hmm. so 
I used to work at a huge company before and if I had to, you know, get get a software for my use for to increase my productivity or, or let's say notion you really like notion and you like puri company ko notion use karna chahiye because fantastic collaboration I, tool i love notion i use it in my uh, current team and huh. uh, in my previous company i used to use google docs so if okay. i were back there uh, huh. then if i had to uh, get you know, notion on like board be a champion of notion ke sabko use karna chahiye yeah. kya what would have been the journey then first i'll have to convince my manager the okay. head of department hmm. and this is just for my department not even the entire company hmm. and um, then get an approval from hr that we'll keep a certain uh, amount of information outside of the approved uh, appro- approved uh, systems hmm. and then involve the security team hmm. and the it team to hmm. get it installed or get an approval to open that website on chrome <laughs> so okay I am never going to be that motivated that I leave my core job and uh, you know convince all these people to <laughs> to sell notion to them. <laughs> yeah, so you definitely need a sales team to do that for me. If you want to sell big, you can't uh, do product led uh, growth. Product led growth is probably good for uh, solo or small teams, startups where the entire team is just like 10 people. Yeah? Yeah, when you say product led growth if you're uh, uh, when you're assuming that the entire sales cycle can done by the product then yeah you can only get up to like 10 20 employees or uh, 500 or 1000 dollar and your contract but if you're going after the big guns the big mm. fish 100k 200k where bulk of your 80% of your revenue comes from yeah yeah so you definitely need a sales team to get to get you through what is product led growth then what it and you told me like there are myths surrounding it then what where is the value is everything that i'm reading a myth or uh, there is some value so product led growth actually works in some cases hmm. uh, and uh, the entire growth strategy has to be owned uh, by product hmm. uh, in partnership with sales marketing and uh, all the other uh, customer success teams hmm. customer success and support teams hmm. uh, so if you look at the three pillars of uh, product led growth would be uh, building a content generation pipeline which can automate automatically generate content which your users might need mm say it again explain to me i'll simplify it for you yeah. so um, for example apollo we have a database of 200 million plus professionals okay uh, throughout the world and when you mean database you have the email ids phone numbers uh, their yeah. current job designations yeah. and all so we have a lot of research and contact information about them right so we have created millions of pages out there mm-hmm. uh, seo pages Uh, which are uh, driven by product mm. and get automate autom- uh, automatically updated uh, based on uh, uh, how we update on our product and um, so these pages are pretty simple so they tell you a bit of information mm. and then they leave the rest to your imagination and we have a huge sign up button so <clears throat> uh, that is uh, a product team's uh, decision or this is product come marketing yeah. so this is jointly owned by, by product and marketing so product can enable this pipeline for you hmm. on uh, how that uh, how that pipeline is being generated hmm. but uh, marketing needs to own the look and feel of uh, how the page God. is looking like and also understand how google is interacting with the page hmm. and understand all those algorithms and then guide the product team on how the page should look like so pr- marketing team basically gives you a prd and product team figures out that this is feasible at scale so in yeah. the old school marketing would have been like you know har bande ka hum khud likhenge article exactly. wagera but you would like no product can generate content uh, but how it should look and how much content should be pushed out and what language and what look and feel that is marketing's job marketing exactly. knows the user the best yeah. that's what you're saying yeah okay interesting so that this is uh, you're saying basically seo uh, can be driven by the product team in collab with marketing where else does the uh, product uh, let growth come in so so the second thing is um, retention hmm. and again there are a lot of myths on retention and i'll only go on to like the very basics of it so users are now habituated to amazing products out there like netflix and amazon hmm. and they are simply not okay on using substandard products hmm. uh, in the market so it is a product team's job to you know give the best experience to the end user care about the end user uh, and make the core workflows very very easy because uh, 
they are using it to reduce their cost or increase business value for their business so hmm. if it if if the end user loves the product they will they will keep vouching for it uh, within the organization and uh, then there <clears throat> they can also drive more referrals uh, within the organization and getting more users sign up to your product got it the most important thing which a lot of product managers often ignore is onboarding okay and a lot of uh, saas companies rely on the customer success teams for onboarding that what old school saas companies would do is uh, they would uh, get you on a call with uh, someone who gives you a walk through yeah. of how to use this how to do that you're telling me that that part can be automated that c- can be automated at least for the smaller companies and okay. that can be supplemented uh, for, for the, the customer companies. success manager so that you know they can service more more accounts uh, mm. if that process is automated so onboarding is basically this bridge so product can build an amazing product mm. and marketing can shout on on the top of the roof that we have the best mm. product in the market but if you're not able to bridge mm. from the sign up to you know uh, when the user actually experiences value which is called the aha moment mm. oh aha this product mm. works mm. so onboarding is that bridge that product teams need to take care of and that's especially more important in saas world because the products are a little more complicated than you know those food ordering and e-commerce apps which which normal users are used to got interesting interesting so we've spoken about retention uh we've spoken about acquisition of uh, uh acquisition from an apollo perspective where you guys have a database and you show part of that database and i'm sure i mean i can think of up the top of my head i can also think crunchbase does that traction does that uh they show some part of the database uh out for the open zoom info does that to zoom info does that zapier does that zapier, uh, zapier. it tells you what kind of integrations are possible can yeah. You, yeah can you tell me this acquisition strategy product led seo i can think of examples i can also think of uh, pinterest for that matter consumer products uh, cora does that cora does that medium has i mean medium started as completely free but now you know they show you half the article then mm-hmm. make you pay for it uh reddit does that so all social media apps which have like user yeah. generated content definitely do that they will have this you know sign up now button but they give you a preview without signing up got it so as a uh, you know sort of a closing takeaway can you name a few good product led uh, companies and product led case studies that you know folks can go on google and uh, just scan and you know figure out what, how the best companies are doing it what mm-hmm. are your favorite product led case studies of all time I I love Apollo so you can go ahead and use that. <laughs> okay, brownie points. Let, let's just CC your uh, <laughs> reporting manager <laughs> on this episode. Okay, sure. yeah. And um Slack does this beautifully. Hmm. Um so they have a really amazing onboarding process, uh, a one step process. Uh one two three they guide you throughout the entire process and uh you know let you invite users and channels and they educate you on all of the single stuff uh, all of the uh, stuff but they don't throw all that information at your face uh, together that you get overwhelmed hmm. so they will you know uh, peel the onion so they'll tell you only what you need to know at this moment and then gradually as you become from a new user to someone who's reached the aha moment to a power user of the app they keep telling you about their product on what all you can use so nice i think that's that's one it of it becomes a very products. I mean it's not like they don't tell you the entire onboarding at once yeah they track your progress and like acha ye bhi hamare paas ye bhi hai plus i remember slacks uh, or at least in my circle slacks uh, app store description went viral recently yeah. have you had some water today marketing does that okay. so <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. cool what next slack is one apollo of course uh, zoom has an amazing virality program okay so they so if i am a paid user of zoom and i need to host a webinar on i i need to get on a uh, on a call with someone i need to send you a zoom link hmm. and they have a page where it says powered by zoom and it ex- you know explains you what zoom does hmm. so that even the person uh, so they make the users their product advocates in the market hmm. uh, and okay. that drives a lot of uh, adoption in in the market right basically if you're i mean if i don't know about zoom and you've sent me a zoom link i'm like sort of even even if you didn't say anything i'll be like sort of seems to be using this software and you know he's making me download this must be good because yeah. he's making me invest into it exactly so okay got it interesting zoom what else 
I love can- Calendly as well, which is a, a calendar multi-billion company. dollar company now. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So they have a very clean UX. You sign up, and again, they have a beautiful onboarding process. Very clean UX, which I feel like using. There are multiple apps in the market like Chili Piper. There is Track, and there are multiple others. But I love using Calendly because. Can you because spell Track? T R A C K. That's the yeah. okay. Cool. And there are multiple others. You can just Google calendar booking. Okay. But I I love using Calendly just because it's very intuitive to use. It's very clean. Hmm. That's <clears throat> they've uh, pretty much reduced the friction out of the entire process, and you know it's almost as as good as Swiggy. So hmm. that's that part is the where the product team has solved retention for me. So nice. I I like using that app. Right. And Calendly has sort of also become you know like a Google. Send me your Calendly. Send, exactly. it's not like, you know send me a zoom link they've just become the cat they've just co- captured that top of the mind in uh, scheduling and send me a calendly and that's for a reason because they have like impeccable user experience right 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 fantastic i think these are the these are certain case studies that you should really scan very popular examples there's a lot written about them you will easily find uh, stuff to read but then read with a skeptical mindset because not all that you read is coming from practitioners it's also coming from marketers who want your clicks <laughs> but of sometimes you know that's why i'm solving for the gap by getting the <laughs> practitioners on the podcast awesome guys this was fun thanks a lot see you another day